This is H2O2 from H2O, and this is my newest design. I call it the Sensor Suite Alpha. This board has three features, and they enhance the H2O2 uh, PWM V2. So to start with, let me uh, show how it uh, uh, joins up with the uh, H2O2 PWM. Has a, has a riser system that's already incorporated in the original design of the uh, H2O2 PWM V2. And the riser system is uh, here and over here. And I just have the uh, riser just taped into position just to give you an idea how it works. And then that will sit on top. And if you've put your uh, pots on your uh, PWM uh, with the vertical adjustment there are options for holes. You can see those holes they should line up directly with the pots positioned and you'll be able to reach in with a small screwdriver and still adjust your other pots. If you're doing the uh, vertical like I've designed uh, then you just continue up the pots will be right above the previous ones. So let me go over the features of the Sensor Suite Alpha. Sensor Suite Alpha has a current monitor. It converts the voltage drop of the H2O2 PWM V2's R12 into a scalable linear output. So for an example, in my unit it converts uh, 36 millivolts to a reading of 0.300, 300 millivolts, on my voltmeter, which represents 30.0 amps. This way I can monitor the current from inside the vehicle with a $3 Harbor Freight voltmeter or an inexpensive uh, gauge. This uh, wiring that comes off this board is a two wire output. The second feature is a low current alarm. Uh, when the current is lower than the predetermined value, the alarm produces around 8 volts uh, to drive an LED, a relay, or a PCU alarm. This also has a two wire output. And that section is located right in here. That's the output right there. Uh, the third feature is a, um, a second current limiter. Uh, use this uh, second channel to provide override of the H2O2 PWM V2 preset current limit. You can place an override switch on your dash. My first uh, test with this feature will be to place a uh, read switch on my throttle control cable and change the current based on whether my engine is in idle or not. This has a two wire input. And that's located right here. So well, that's it so far. Uh, let's populate that board. So I have most of the parts on now. I just want to explain a couple things. This is J5, and this is where your remote uh, dual current control will tie in. You can pull it high or you can pull it low. Um, depending on what kind of sensors you want to use. Um, and the pull high and the pull low is controlled here by J4. Currently I have it in the pull low position. This connector here is the uh, alarm out, low current alarm output. Uh, here and here. It's called uh, J6. Um, 
and over here we have J3. Now J3 is the uh, current monitor out, and so you have ground next to the pot, and you have your positive output on the next pin above. I've got just a couple uh, pieces of bus wire soldered on there so I can clip on real quick with my voltmeter right now. The plan is that all of these six uh, outputs will come out to a breakout that will be connected to the outside of the PWM case and just small wires will travel out through there and then you can hook the real sensors or any control wires to that breakout. Uh, I haven't really decided on uh, what that's going to look like yet so I'll keep you informed on that. So the underneath underneath looks like this and the reason that these legs uh, turn 90 and go out to the edge of the board is because we're going to set it right down on the uh, H202 PWM version 2 and those legs will fit right down on those pads and you'll be able to solder it right on there and just solder one pin move it around get it to where you want it turn around to the other side solder one pin make sure it's all lined up right and then go and solder the remaining pins and that way your alignment will be just the way it should be now you can also if you're coming in from the top and you need to have those holes in, in uh, your version um, you can try to line those up a little bit too There's, there'll be a little bit of give now when I installed these headers I soldered one pin made sure that they were this horizontal, this one's still actually not soldered. Uh, this one, I have two pads on it soldered right now. So I make sure that it's vertical so that we don't have it leaning, because if it leans way out, then it's going to be a problem getting it to line up right. So solder one pad, get it horizontal, or get it vertical to the board, and then solder the next one, make sure it's right, and then go ahead and finish up the other two. And that, it'll give you a lot more control over uh, position. Because once it's soldered, it's very difficult to pull back out. So that's up. That's the uh, status so far. I think I'll be showing you next uh, just a installed version and then go through the operational uh, adjustments of this. This is H2O2 from H2O signing out.